hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today we are going to look at another sorting algorithm known as merge sort this has been asked from me a lot of times uh in an interview so let me show you how to do it as you can see i have my unsorted array here and we are going to try and sort this array now the goal for the merge sort algorithm is to first break the array into two then compare the values of the array left and right with each other and then dump the values into a sorted array so let's first create our function called merge and it's gonna have two params called left and right and it's gonna return our sorted array inside this function we will have three variables first sorted array now obviously I cannot append uh, or remove any value from left and right array in the params so I had to create a var left and right. So now let's have a while loop and have a condition that left and right uh, count should be greater than zero. And inside the loop we'll add the condition that if uh, left's first element is less than right's first then uh, append the sorted array and remove the first element of the left array and in the else condition we'll do the opposite in the end we'll just return the sorted array plus left plus right this will join all three of these arrays next let's create another function called merge sort this is our main function and it will have our unsorted array as a parameter and will return the sorted array now inside this first we will check if the array is greater than one otherwise it will just return the same array because there's nothing to sort After this, we split the array into two, left and right, and the easiest way to do this is to call array initializer. And inside this, we will uh, add the elements of array from zero till total count divided by two. And for the right one, we'll do from the total count divided by two till the array's total count. and in the end return the merge function like so so this will keep splitting the array until the count is one and the merge function will sort the elements of each array at the end let's print the function and let's see if it works and there you go on the right you can see our sorted array Well, uh, I hope uh, that this video was helpful. If so, then please drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, press the notification bell icon so that you never miss a video because I will be posting more sorting algorithms. So stay tuned. Thank you and see you all in the next one.